Recently, a friend noticed that I have a keyboard shortcut assigned to one of the tools under the Favorites menu in Adobe Audition, and they asked me how I did that. I'll show you right now. So how about those favorites, huh? And why are they favorites anyway? I don't know. Let's click the Favorites menu. All right, now you see I've already got some things saved with uh, keyboard shortcuts. Auto Heal. Have you heard of Auto Heal? <laughs> it's only about the... Uh, the most talked about tool in Adobe Audition, and it's available in another tutorial. There's a couple of them, as a matter of fact, on my uh, YouTube channel. Check them out. Now, let's find something else that doesn't already have a keyboard shortcut assigned to it. Like, for instance, raise pitch. Now, let's make some audio here. Hey, everybody, it's me, Scooter. Okay, trim it. Control T. And now let's go back to the favorites menu. And now all of these things in favorites are available. And let's click raise pitch. Now that was easy enough. Hey, everybody, it's me, Scooter. <laughs> uh, but let's control Z that, undo it, and come back and find an easier way to do that. By, you know, we can skip clicking the favorites menu, coming down and finding the particular uh, favorite we're looking for by simply editing the favorites. Okay, so we did raise pitch. It doesn't have a keyboard shortcut, but we can give it one by clicking edit. Then we type in, uh, let's choose something here on the keyboard uh, that's available. I think the number five on the number pad is available. Yes, it is. Let's click save and then close. Now, when I want to use that raise pitch favorite, all I got to do is click 5 on my number pad. Hey, everybody, it's me, Scooter. And that's all there is to it. Now, if you have any questions you think I might be able to help you with with Adobe Audition, feel free to drop me a line here at my YouTube channel, on Facebook, or at my website at takemyvoice.com. Thanks.